Welcome back to Her Rules Radio. I'm Alex Jamison. This is a short success strategy show. That's right. We're doing itty bitty shows to help you dip in real quick to topics that are going to inspire you, help you get unstuck and into action. I've been coaching women for about 18 years. And over that time, I've worked with, you know, thousands, thousands of women have heard this show, thousands more have read my books, including my last book, Women, Food, and Desire. And one of the most important strategies that comes up over and over again is how your personal story, your history, contains so much magic and growth opportunity for you. So your story really is your magic. But it's time, maybe, to dust it off, unleash it, re-examine it, and see how it can serve you and, and maybe others around you. So I've been a life success and health coach and mentor for a long time. And part of the toolbox that I use is knowing that stories inspire us. Stories are actually one of the most important ways that humans learn. We define ourselves through our own personal story and we learn the story of our culture, of our families. And it's one of the ways I bet you can look back and really remember one of your favorite childhood books. You know, the one that you made your parents read to you over and over and over again, or even the ones that you've read to your own children dozens of times. I know I sure have done that. So that just shows that we really learn best through stories. We remember the journey. We remember the drama and the lessons. And your story, while it may resonate with other people or other people's stories may really touch your heart, your story is truly unique because it's about you and you are a unique creature on this planet right now. And storytellers really are valuable. They have always been seen as valuable, as esteemed members of the group, of the clan, of the tribe, of the culture. Today, our storytellers are the most successful people, right? Think of Steve Jobs. He considered himself a storyteller. Uh, anyone from Hollywood, filmmakers, writers. These are the people that we look up to. We look to them to help us make sense of life, of tragedy. So storytellers are powerful and they can help us heal. Stories have definitely touched me in such a way, whether it's fiction or someone's personal life story, They help us make sense. So storytellers are sense makers. They help us see how everything fits together. And storytellers create a vision that can inspire us to create something new. I don't know if you knew this, but well, my dad was a huge Star Trek fan, still is. And Star Trek as, you know, really a short lived show is only on for three seasons. A lot of the technology, the the made up technology that they created, the tricorders and some of the other things that they had, you know, Uhura's little earpiece that helped us as the communications officer. Those were visionary, not yet real technologies that inspired people who watched the show, who then became scientists that then went on and created those exact things in real life. And stories help us evolve and change. They help us see new possibilities. So your story could be your magic. It could be magic for you. It could be magic to other people that you decide to share your story with. And that has certainly become a part of my career and the work that I do with women. Having written five books now, Everything from the very first one, from the Great American Detox Diet through the Vegan Dummies books, and then Women, Food, and Desire, which was about my coming out as no longer vegan and really touching into how food, sex, and desire really overlap for women. To my latest book that I co-wrote with my husband, Bob, Getting to Hell Yes, 
all of these books contain at the heart of them a story. And maybe that's why you're even here in the first place. Maybe you read one of my books. And I know I am a devotee, a fangirl, a huge follower of some of the people whose stories I have read. And think about the stories from your early childhood that have had a huge impact on you. And one of those genres is fairy tales. Now, fairy tales have certainly been Disney-fied. The original fairy tales that have come down, whether through, let's talk about the Grimm fairy tales. The Grimm brothers went out and collected a lot of old folk tales and reimagined them and finally wrote them down. They were the first ones to collect them. But they certainly uh, have been Disney-fied the way that we mostly consume them. Fairy tales really cast women in these victim roles. They weren't very powerful for the most part. They were pretty, they were thin, they were white, and they were waiting around for Prince Charming to come and save her. Not very empowering vision for us, women especially. Kind of annoying. I can't watch those anymore. They're just not interesting to me anymore. What is interesting to me are the hero's journey stories. Star Wars, that's a hero's journey. If you've never heard of the hero's journey, you will be totally floored. Go look up the hero's journey. It's been well documented to to be kind of a pattern, a framework that many, many of our famous myths and stories, everything from you know, hundreds of years old epic poems, thousands of years old epic poems, up into the modern uh, Star Wars movies, follow this framework of the hero's journey. And these are much more empowering. So I want you to go and look at these, look up Joseph Campbell and the hero's journey and see how you can recast yourself in the story of your life the lessons that you've learned, the trials and tribulations that you've come through, the traumas that you've endured and the healing that you have worked to create in your own life. It is really time for us to write and tell and, and remake our stories, to recast ourselves as the, in the role of hero or heroine in our own life story. When you start to get a sense of your own heroine's journey, as it were, you start to reclaim the power of your life. You start to see yourself as a hero or heroine rather than a victim, rather than some fairy tale princess waiting in the top of a tower for some dude to come save her. And there are dangers in not examining our stories. We, we miss our brilliance. We miss our strengths. And the benefits of knowing your story and knowing your, your the path that you've taken and the, the mistakes and the successes and the wins and knowing your own inspiring moments is really powerful. It can energize you. It helps you see how resilient and strong you are. And it helps connect you to your divine creative spirit, that you are capable, that everything in your life is figure outable because you always have figured it out. You always have. So I want to wrap up this quick little inspirational hit for you and remind you that your story contains so much magic and maybe it's time to start telling it. And if you want a little help getting started with it, you can go on over to herrulesradio.com forward slash shop, and you can download my free how to write your fuck it list guide. (laughs) It's a great reverse engineering of positive psychology. It's really fun. Go check it out. There's also an incredible overcoming obstacles to your creative desires meditation that you can download for free. Again, go check out herrulesradio.com forward slash shop. Download some of those goodies. And if you love the show, head on over to iTunes. Leave a meaningful review. Leave a real review. What you really think of this show. Why you listen to it. 
what you get out of it. It really helps other people find the show. We'll be back soon with more short and long form podcasts. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.